<laughs> history, tradition, it is embedded in our roots. Everywhere you look, evidence of history can be seen. Since 1926, Mercyhurst College has been making history with its stellar academic programs, NCAA Division I and II athletic teams, clubs, and student organizations. Today, we are going to focus on the history department at Mercyhurst College. Hi, welcome to Preston Hall, home of the history department. I think, you know, one of the things that distinguishes this history department from others at other liberal arts schools uh, is that we we know our students. I, I spend, I, I don't know, a good part of every single day uh, talking to students in my office. Uh, other colleagues of mine in this department do the same. Uh, we spend a lot of time, you know, um, emailing students. I, you know, I end up with a, you know, a, a, such a strong relationship by the end of the four years with um, our students that I, you know, I almost feel like they're, you know, sort of extensions of my family, you know, like I know these kids almost better than I know my own children and uh, I know, you know, to a certain extent some things about their personal lives and we care about them and you know, sort of thing. That's the spirit of the moment, comes right out of the 60s, spills into the 70s and, and yet, you know, don't vote at the same time people believing in their own ability through their organizational efforts, through... I decided to do history and fashion because I am passionate about both and I figured that if I do something that I love and I'm happy with it, then life will work itself out. <laughs> no, he's really nice. He's very helpful and he doesn't judge on um, you know, how he would write a paper, he judges on like your own personal style and he feeds off of what That's everyone else stuff. is interested in. Um, this, is, um, this is a place that uh, really uh, is genuine in, uh, in, in terms of the relationships that we build. Which history class um, and professor do you recommend taking? Uh, well, I, I recommend all of them, as a matter of fact. Uh, they are all great teachers, and they all have uh, a lot of things they can offer the students. It's not a big deal. So I'd say any of the teachers, but if I had to recommend one in particular, I would probably recommend Dr. Oswaka. Um, because I've taken a couple of his classes, and, and I just, for some reason, he does different things in his class that I like. You know, we do some group discussions, some. Um, single group analysis things um, and he know uh, he just has been uh, pretty helpful Dr. how are you today? Good how about yourself? I'm great so please tell us how you are involved with history. I, well, I do uh, American working class history and I sort of suppose it's sort of a product of my background um, my research is on Buffalo New York actually of all places where I'm from and I'm looking at sort of workers the ethnic movements and uh, all of that. So I'm more sort of a social historian. Okay. Um, so at Mercy Arts, what is your favorite class to teach and why? Well, I, li I actually like the American History Surveys. Um, I like it because it's a diverse group. It's not just history majors. I mean, you get people from all across the campuses. And it, it makes for an interesting class. I mean, you get people in biology, you get people in history, you get people in English, uh, religion, all over. So it's a nice mix. So at Mercy Arts, everyone has to take? Everyone has to take an American history course, either US 1, which goes up to the Civil War, uh, or U.S. 2, which goes from the Civil War to World War II, or U.S. 3, which is from 45 to present. And they also have to take uh, European slash world history. Um, someone like John Lewis, who's less known, uh, Big Bill Haywood, labor organizers. from Chicago, uh, 22 years old. Uh, it's always been something that interested me. Uh, me and my brother used to watch History Channel just messing around when we were younger. Uh, so that stuff was always cool, like looking at World War II. Uh, I like Dr. Majok a lot. Uh, he's the head of the department. I also like Dr. Uh, Dr. We call him Dr. Hope. Uh, 
probably want to be a social studies teacher, something in the high school area, and then maybe coach basketball. Come make history happen. We are the leaders of tomorrow. We are Mercyhurst College. <laughs> Don't film me. <laughs> Why not? Who do you think will be the next face on the No, yeah. <laughs> we can't imagine, so. <laughs> you don't have to lie, it's okay. okay. You're, you're gonna edit this, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we'll edit it. We're only gonna put like certain parts in it. Okay. Please send us a little bit about this. Uh, my name's Elliot, obviously. I'm uh, from Downers Grove, it's a suburb of Chicago. Uh, I'm 22 years old. <laughs> my, uh, my favorite color is blue. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, really? No? Okay, sorry, stop. They can make change at the same time as fewer and fewer American directions. You know his name. <laughs> you know his name. <laughs> I was in a play called Titanic. I mean, we're definitely the captain. I was in third class. I was in my class. Did you definitely see Is there anything you'd like to add to this video? This is the best history class. 